Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation of natural logs and exponentials. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals the fraction of e to the 5x to the 4th power over e to the 4x squared, 4x squared plus 3 power, okay? Well, first thing, you don't want to just jump in right now and try to use maybe the quotient of this. You could work, but let's simplify this a little bit, okay? Our rules of exponentials allow us to keep this as being the same base of e. e to the exponent, we just subtract the exponents. 5x to the fourth power minus 4, and I'll keep this in parentheses, 4x squared plus 3 power. Okay? Now you can distribute that minus sign and make both of these a minus. I'm fine with whatever you want to do. Okay? So now, okay, and actually, let's go do that. That might be a little easier to see. So I'm going to rewrite that here. Let's rewrite that here. Okay? So we have the minus that denominator. Let's distribute that minus sign across. So we have minus 4x squared minus 3. Okay? So let's. Uh, Simplify this, right? Or let's take a derivative actually. So dy dx here. Alright, well, our rules with derivatives, right, is we is e to the u times u prime. Well, we have e to the well, 5x to the fourth minus 4x squared minus 3 power times u prime times the derivative of that exponent. 4 comes down times 5 is 20, x to the third power, and then minus here, 2 times 4 is 8. 8x. And that's it. The 3 don't really worry about because the derivative of negative 3 is 0. At this point, I'm pretty much done. Um, I would say it's most simplified as is. And that's it. Okay. Done. <laughs> Where our final answer is e to the 5x to the 4th minus 4x squared minus 3 times 20x to the 3rd minus 8x. So let's recap. Remember y equals uh, e to the 5x to the 4th power over e to the 4x squared plus 3. The easiest way to do this is, instead of just a quotient rule right from the get-go, is to simplify using our rules of exponentials. We can combine these two because they have the same base, right? We just subtract the exponents. When I subtract the exponent, I find it's the fourth minus the denominator exponent, but I distribute that minus sign to both parts. So we have minus 4x squared minus 3. Taking the derivative, derivative of e to the u is e to the u times u prime, okay? So we keep it being the same, and derivative of our exponent was just 20x to the third minus 8x. You can simplify this maybe a little more, pull out an x and a 4, probably, yeah, a 4x and put that out front. I don't think it really makes it any nice and neat, but you could, okay? Either way, our final answer here is um, the derivative is dy dx is equal to e to the 5x to the fourth minus 4x squared minus 3 times, all right, times the times those together, this is the exponent, times 20x to the third minus 8x.